Malia, put your face. Close to mine. Oh my gosh, why are we doing this? <laughs> yeah, go sit down. Hey you guys, it's Celia and I'm back with another video. So today is a wash day. I've had my hair in this bun, which doesn't look too bad, but my scalp is itchy, my hair is dry, but I wanted to try out this unbrushed detangling brush that I've seen like a lot on TikTok mostly. Um, so I ordered it off of Target. This is what it looks like. It has two tier um, like teeth or bristles 105 of them and this is meant to be used on wet or dry hair and it's supposed to basically just make detangling a breeze it's supposed to detangle um get rid of knots and help reduce breakage so i'm going to be using this on one side or one section i should say and then using my tangle teaser which is dirty so don't mind that but y'all have seen me use this tangle teaser for literally years at this point it's my holy grail brush it also has two tier teeth um it has 325 of them though so it does have more um so i'm just gonna be testing these out and see is this unbrush really as good as everybody on tiktok makes it seem um so yeah this is what the hair is looking like i am just going to actually be pre-pooing my hair i like to pre-poo now that my hair is longer to make everything in the shower a breeze so i'm just gonna section off my hair and um the product that i will be using is my own product goddess curls ravishing leave-in detangler not only can you use this as a detangler a leave-in conditioner but you also can use it for a pre-poo to help detangle before you go and shampoo so this is my first section it is tangled it is dry i'm just going to spray my hair on down with some water and then i I will go in with this unbrush so yeah i am just going to start off start at the ends a little bit because i'm just used to detangling from ends to roots and as you guys can see it's going through very easily like this honestly using this it reminded me of a wide tooth comb which used to be my holy grail detangling um tool so now i'm just going from the base or the roots down and you guys it's literally just gliding through it's going through so easily keep in mind i didn't detangle this section at all so for it to just start through the root down with ease i was like okay this is cool i like this um it didn't feel like it was tugging or pulling on the hair it was gentle it was quick so so far so good like literally all the videos i saw of people using this on tiktok they literally had the exact same experience <laughs> So I am just going to now add my Ravishing Leave-In Detangler. If you guys haven't shopped with my brand Goddess Curls, make sure you click the link in my description box in the comments or just go to www.goddess with three S's curls.com. Um, so yeah, just gonna apply that, twist my hair up, and then the next section I will, I will use my Tangle Teaser. Now, um, again, I'm just gonna spray my hair on down and then use my Tangle Teaser. The Tangle Teaser is only designed to be used on a wet hair, where the unbrush is for wet and dry hair. But yeah, I'm just going to start at the ends of my hair as usual. And you can see it does have a bit more resistance than the um, unbrush, but you know, I'm used to this, so it wasn't like a big deal. But however, I did notice the big difference when I tried to go from the root down before working my way up, it definitely was pulling and yanking on my hair. So with this brush, I just know from use of it for several years, I have to go from ends to roots. I can't immediately go from the root to the end. Um, 
and that may be a drawback for others but for me since i'm so used to using this brush it really isn't a big deal um as long as you work from the ends to the roots you're not going to have a bunch of breakage or anything so I do want to throw in there that the unbrush does retail for $18 on like Target or Amazon and the Tangle Teaser is $15.99 from like Ulta. Um, I think Target has them, I think, I can't remember. But yeah, you also can find these brushes just off brand um, online too for super cheap as well. But um now i'm just going to continue you know adding my uh leave-in detangler moisturizing twisting it up i will let all of my twists just sit um for about i don't know maybe 15 minutes or so and then i'll rinse it and shampoo and all that good stuff all right so this these clips of me in this light pink shirt is just me using my tangle teaser in my natural habitat so i'm just starting from the ends to the roots like i typically would and you guys can see it's getting through fairly easily not much resistance unless i had a tangle or something but just to give you guys an answer which one do i like better I think both of the detangling brushes are good. I feel like you actually have to try it for yourself because as someone who's been using the Tangle Teaser for as long as I have, I still am using it. Like I'm posting this video and I went back to my Tangle Teaser. It's just my favorite brush. I feel confident in the fact that it's getting through each and every tangle even if I have to spend maybe 10, 15 seconds longer to do so. Um, especially since it has so many teeth. Um, the unbrush though is, it works. It gets through gently, quickly. Um, but I do still feel like since it doesn't have as many teeth as the Tango Teaser, that it could skip some of the smaller tangles or knots that you might get. But that's just me. So I say you have to try it for yourself. But just from this video, which one do you think you would use? The Unbrush or Tango Teaser? I would love to know. But that is the end of this video. Um, don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. And yeah, I'll see you in another one. Thank you.